Hello everybody. First, thanks for watching. I know there are plenty of tutorials out there on standard foam body hopper patterns, so I appreciate you clicking on mine. I will explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. So first off, I've got a size 8 tress reel hook in here. You see it got a little bit of bend in it there. Let's get it a little, a little better in the vise. And I've got 70 denier UTC in a light olive color. You can use any thread color you want, uh, of course. But if you can match the, the foam that you're using, it will look a little bit better. So just lay a thread base down to about the, the barb of the hook and then bring it back up. This is where this is differs just a little. We'll tie our, our underbody dubbing in from the front to the back. That doesn't necessarily matter, but it makes it just a, a little bit easier. So put a little wax on it. And I've got, I'm using some ice dub. Olive color ice dub. See that? Just a, a medium sized clump. For this this size, what did I say, size 8? We can put a, a fair amount of dubbing on here. So that's a little bit too fat of a noodle. We'll, we'll pull it thinner. Catch the first couple of fibers in it right there. And now we can lay it, pull it a little bit tighter, a little thinner. And just lay a, a, a thin wrap all the way down where you've covered your thread. This won't be too visible in the finish fly, but you'll be able to see a, a little bit of it from the underneath. So I probably have a little bit more dubbing on here than I I needed. Let's see if I can get some of that off here. That'll be fine. If we need to trim it when we're done, we can certainly do that. So, 3 millimeter olive foam. I tie these in tan and olive. You can tie it in black or anything. So, our 2 millimeter thick foam, maybe 3 or 4 millimeters wide. So, Tie in, hang your thread where you want the first tie-in point to be, probably about right there. Now you can let it hang off the back a little long, we'll trim that as one of the final steps. So, get your, your first wrap down, maybe two wraps to take a look at it. Make sure you're kind of centered on the top. Now, this will spin on you, so what trick I've learned is put a wrap under it, and then a tighter wrap over it, and then repeat, and then that will pretty much keep it from spinning on you. So we got that now. Bring your thread up to where we're going to put the first segment. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's try it about right there, and then pretty much the the same thing right here. A couple of wraps. Take a look at your size. I think that's fine right there. So then we'll start pulling it a little tighter, a wrap under, a tighter wrap over, and repeat. And I think that's going to sit up there without spinning. You can see the underbody. You see a little bit of that there? It matches the, the foam fairly well. Now we just bring it up here to where we started our wrap. And then this is the last segment. There will be a head that's a fold over head on this, but this is the, the, the third segment on, right, on here. I guess this would probably be the, the thorax, if you're thinking of this as a typical insect. So I think that segment looks about fine right there. Do another wrap or two under and then lock it in over. So the next component is just a couple of lively legs. I use brown because I don't have any green, but brown or black would be fine. So I just fold it over like this, kind of fold it in half. 
see that I don't know if you can see that very well and then get your your first wrap in there these don't take too many wraps to to get them to to stay but they will move around on you if you're not careful so go ahead and trim that one a little shorter and cut that one off we might need to trim a little more in, in a minute but I just did that so I could use the other piece of this leg to do the other side so same thing right there now we've got our four legs sticking out we'll position them a little bit later or make sure we have them where we want them later so next step is now crystal flash so this one I, I kind of call this my my flash hopper just because it's the only one I I tie with any crystal flash so you can do the the wrap just like you did with the the legs see I've got four strands right there and I'm going to put it right on the center and work that through there see that looks like a, a big mess right there but while you have it in we've got it caught in with a couple of wraps pull it back to about the tail and then go ahead and cut it off we're going to have the deer hair going over that in just a, just a minute here so we've got that it's caught in pretty well maybe let's get a couple more wraps on here before we layer our deer hair in so for the wing of this hopper, just a medium sized clump of, of deer hair, maybe a medium to small size. So about that much right there. I'm not going to stack it. This is not really enough to worry about stacking. If you have any real long ones, you can just pull them out one at a time. I will do that. So now pull your flash down, lay your wing about well, just make your best call right there. I like it to about the, the end of the the tail there. So just get this caught in here. It's going to flare up on you, and we'll trim that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and pull both these wings back. We can move that front one forward in just a minute. So... Is my deer hair pretty close on the top? Eh, it's it's pretty well on the top. We'll go ahead and, and trim these other two legs here just to keep them from going all over the place. Okay, so almost done with this thing. Well, let's let's trim this this deer hair, and this is going to make a, a mess. These little pieces will get everywhere, and be careful not to cut your legs off, cut your hopper's legs off. So you got materials flying everywhere on this one. Now, almost done. We just got to wrap the head over. So fold the head. Don't worry about how long it is. We will trim that piece in just a second. So get your, your deer hair laying on the top of the fly where you want it. And let's see. I want this wrap to go through these legs here so help prop that other one forward so kind of loose wrap right here pulling it medium tight and go around it one more time a little bit tighter check your alignment that looks okay that remember that top piece we're going to trim that here in just a minute so Let's pull these back and get several wraps up here. And I will sometimes flip it over. So you're looking at the bottom. See that thread right there? We're going to put a drop of, of glue on that thread in just a minute. So I will put enough thread that the, the super glue will hold it. 
So I'm not really necessarily making the, the fly any more secure right now, but I'm putting more of a base so that the super glue will have something to catch into. See that right there. Now you're going to whip finish this, not at the eye, but right where you made those last wraps. So this is a, one of the yeah, only only tricky parts here. Get this whip finish in without capturing any of these legs. So I've got three turns right there. There's my fourth. And pull it tight. Trim my thread right there. I've got a couple of loose deer hair sticking out right up here by the by the legs. Situate your legs a little better. And see I got some deer hair poking up here out of the blue. So for that top piece covering the wing, I just just cut it at a little little angle here. Kind of a little triangle coming up. And there you have it, my foam body. Oh yeah, let's let's trim the a little angle on the the back ones right there too. Almost the same as you did with the head, maybe not as pronounced. Not quite a triangle, maybe a little trapezoid there. And flip it over. See that olive thread right there? Just a small drop of super glue right there. Let that soak in. And this fly will last you a long time. Or till you lose it in a tree. Which is happens with me more often than, than they get mangled up by big fish. So... There you have it folks, pretty easy pattern. My foam body flash hopper. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. I'd appreciate you to subscribe if you feel like it. Um, so that's all, thanks again.